Hello everyone, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Well, in this episode, as you might expect, we will get started on the aluminium production, but we will not get too far into it because we will need to sort out some other resources apart from bauxite. One of these resources will be silica, so I suppose this is the perfect excuse to actually buckle down and reorganize our silica production, and as you can see, we will make relatively good progress on it in this episode. Since we have so many resources to take care of, we will keep feeding the excess production into the awesome sink and we will stop doing so as we progress. So let's not waste any more time and let's get into it. And we are back. Okay, so in the last episode we managed to put bauxite onto the rail network, but right now the train is waiting at the junction. Well, speaking of the junction, how about we actually sort that one out, because in the last episode there was a small bug when I uh, broke the uh, tracks into smaller pieces and one of the switches is not no longer acting as a switch. Okay, thank you. Okay, so let's sort that out real quick. Also, we might want to consider turning this one into a small roundabout. I think that would actually go a long way towards making this place a little bit more mm, suitable for high traffic. So I got rid of these bees because they would be a pain in my neck. Did I pick up the... no. There we go. So... By the way, this is the switch that I'm talking about. It is actually a... well, as you can see, it switches, but for some reason there is no sign for it, so technically it's no longer a switch, and this confuses the uh, plastic, no, sorry, the rubber train, and that's not great. So, um, yeah, to turn this one into a roundabout, I think we will have to wait for the hover pack, so if you don't mind, I will do that. Uh, let me see, okay, so as you can see, I'm trying to turn this one into a switch, but the sign doesn't appear, so we need to redraw this. So if I do this, no, 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 that's not correct. So if I do this, okay, now we have a sign. Yeah, it's on the other track, but eh, it's fine. So this one needs to go into, well, I suppose there is fine. Yeah, we will, as I said, we will make this one a nice little roundabout at some point. But for that we need to have access to the hover pack. Other than this small error, I think this place should work as intended. So is the train moving? Yes, it is. Okay. So this guy is fixed now. Well, next, let's sort out the aluminum production next, or at least the site for it. So I already have the ratios calculated and we will go ahead and use those as the basis for our aluminum production, aluminium production, sorry. Well, hmm, how do we do this? I think the most logical place for it is going to be here. It is a nice long strip of land, we have ready access to water, we have coal right here, we should have more uh, copper up here this way, and silica can be brought in from the silicon outpost. So, hmm. well, I think before we, well, okay, I will set up the first steps. For that, we will need to place down a foundation. Well, let's try to stay as centered as we can on the cleanest strip of land around here. So north, this looks like pretty much the perfect place. Okay, so I will make this one. Hmm. How wide do we need to make it? I suppose, yeah, five tiles should be more than what we need. You know what, just for these uh, stalagmites, I will cut this one back, or it is. Also, preferably with zoop. There we go.
Okay, so the current setup that I am thinking about... Uh, wait, wait, wait. The terrain comes up a little bit, so... Okay, elevate this one one more time. I think that should be okay. Yeah, this looks high enough. Okay, let's cut this one back. And let's use this as the start of the platform. So, as I was saying... Um, we will go for a 240 aluminium uh, bauxite input. I think that should be okay for the time being. Because basically that is what we have to work with at the moment. Uh, there we go. That should be plenty good enough. Okay, next. Let's place down the refineries. This is what we will start with and... After this, we will sort out the rest of the inputs and outputs. So, um, first, let's build a small distribution floor. So, one, two, three, as usual, three meters is what we are going for. And then, zoop the ceilings off into the distance. Okay, so now we have a, a blank platform. Okay, so uh, first let me get rid of these because they will be in the way sooner or later. There. And I really wish that these bombs would get rid of these stalagmites, but unfortunately they don't. So anyways, to make this work, we will need two refineries. One of them will be, uh, two of them will be facing this way because we need to have the water coming out from the lake. So the inputs will be right here. Mm, there. No, wait. I think over by one more. Like this. And then the next one will be facing the other way because, well, you will know why. So this is where we will make the Illumina solution in these two. And in this one, we will make the aluminium scrap. Okay. Also, let's just take out the coffee cup because that is what we need to carry around while we are building. So we will next, let's take care of the water. So if we take a look at the diagram, there is a small problem with the water. Altogether, we need to have about 360 water going through the system, but the water pump input is only 240. That is because we will actually have wastewater coming out of the second stage, which will make the actual aluminium scrap. So I suppose what we will do is actually only place down um, two water extractors and we will feed that extra water back into the system from the other side. Now, there is a potential for uh, plugging things up if anything in the system is uh, backed up. It could result in actual uh, water being overproduced. And that's not going to be great. But if that happens, then we will set up a pressure pump. But until then, I think I will try to rely on just uh, not building a pressure pump, basically. So first, we will need to bring in the water. Um, okay, let's first place down the water holes, or sorry, the floor holes. Uh, logistics and pipeline for floor holes. There. 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 And the same on the other side. Good. Is this lined up? Yeah, okay. For this one, Mark 1 pipes will be plenty good enough. Also, let's try to make them neat and tidy. This is the water pipe. Well, I suppose we can have a single 
junction right here in front of this one um on this one i think it needs to be here no nope, over by one that's fine so it needs to be there right uh next pipe this one goes in this one goes in as well maybe from the other side Okay, so the water will come in here. I will move this one all the way to the lake. There. And let's have a pair of pumps right there. So, production, water extraction, facing this way, there, and there. Then we will have a pipeline junction can i copy almost okay fine pipeline junction in front of them there merge them in together and bring them up here preferably with a horizontal to vertical version there you go. Okay, let's feed this one into the system. So this one needs to come out this way. Okay, so far so good. Obviously, this will require a pump, so might as well put it in right now. Let me take a look. So, land on the pipe. If I use a Mark 1 pump, will that be enough? Um, yes, it will be. I think this is going to be enough pressure coming out of the uh, water extractors to reach this part of this bell, uh, pipe and the rest will be taken care of by the pump. We could use Mark 2 and that will definitely take care of it, but you know, let's be a little bit conservative there 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 and there okay let's bring this up stairs okay power taken care of at least in terms of local power Next, um, these guys will only require bauxite and the water, so that's fine. Speaking of the bauxite, I suppose we can set up the train station right here. So let's extend this four more tiles. This will be, of course, a roll-in, roll-out station in one way. And there. So four tiles should be enough, right? Next, let's place down the actual train station. It will be facing this way. Right. This one needs to be right here. Then a single freight platform. Can you please hook into this one? There we go. Facing this way because we need to unload the box side on this side so input is right here we will definitely need to need to have a storage so we can keep this place running so let me see uh, organization a big industrial storage and we don't have enough space for it okay you guys need to move out a one more tile Let's put down the station once again. Yeah, facing that way. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that will leave us, leave us plenty of space. Okay, freight platform hooked into this one, facing this way. Okay, so the storage organization. I will use a big one because this will have two inputs and that will speed up the unloading of the train station. As If you remember, this is needed because while the uh, freight platform is unloading the train, the belts will stand still and we need to keep this place running 24 7 and introducing this storage will actually make sure that um, the supply of materials will not stop while the train is unloading so there and there good this will unload the station on two belts now we only technically only need a single belt going in you know what i think i will take care of the belts on the ground level that's going to be fine so we need a single splitter input for him from the station of course there that's fine in uh, into this one there and incoming bauxite from there good now, how do we want to deal with the actual tracks? Let me see. I think we can introduce a switch on the downwards ramp. That would be acceptable, I think. I think we can climb onto this mushroom. Also, please leave me alone. I am not in the mood of this kind of stuff. Okay, so we will start a off ramp right here. Uh, let me see. Yeah, right at the top, I think, or right as we are evening out the ramp right here. So let's build a downwards ramp. Add, I believe the junctions or the switches needs to be three tiles long. I think that is the established length. Uh, there. You will hook into the main line there. Or the crater roundabout. As usual, we need uh, signals. Transport. Path signal going into the junction. And block signals going out of the junction. Let's break this one into smaller pieces. Okay, we have an actual switch now. Good. So this one needs to go... Yeah, here. Block signal. Can you please go into where I want you to go? There and there. Good. All right. Oh, don't get in the way. They will not hurt us, but they would uh, push us along and we don't want it right now. So I suppose it can be a straight ramp down into the station. I will only need to extend this a little bit and preferably we might want to introduce a, you know, a small switch at the station itself. So first let's take care of that. I believe the length of these switches needs to be three tiles as well. Also, yeah, that gas cloud definitely needs to go away. There we go. The rest should be okay. All right. So switch. Let's make this one three tiles long. So we are 100% sure that it can fit in the locomotive there and then I think for this one a two tile long switch will be enough this is just placeholder we will build start start building the ramp immediately after the switch so there and 
there. Easy as pie. So incoming train. Wait, 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 wait. But technically it should be incoming this way, but in this case I am willing to break protocol. So that signal going into the station there and that signal going into the junction. And then the rest will be block signals. So block signal and leaving as well there. Yeah, that's not pretty. It should do the job, but yeah, it's not, not great, right? You know what? Let's not do this switch. Let's just have a regular old uh, roll in, roll out. There we go. Taken care of. So let's start building the ramp. Let's, let's make it three tiles long on the transition. So foundation, two meter ramp, going all the way up as far as we can manage. Oh, that's not looking great, if I'm completely honest. We can do it, but there will be a sudden dip, I suppose. Let me see. If I build a foundation here, how will that look? So a pair of foundations right on the edge. One for the incoming tracks, one for the outgoing tracks. I am not sure if I like it. First, let's put in the deeper part of the ramp. So let me see. Transport, railway. Let's put in the placeholder. So if we hook into the station there, well, it needs to be a little bit longer. I think we, sh we can do it. So let's end it here. You should be able to do it. No. A little bit longer than that. There. Can you do it now? Um. What does it say? Too steep. Yeah. I expected as much. Mm -hmm. I suppose we can build a station a little bit higher up. That will also fix the problem. Yeah, let's do it. Let's change things around while we still can, right? So, the station will be... Let's say this high up. That should fix it. So we don't need these around anymore. Also yeah, that's a spider. Don't want to mess with that right now. I am quite happy without any incidences with the spiders. So two and then three for the freight platform. And that should be all we need. Fingers crossed that this is high enough. So uh, train station right in the middle, facing that way. Then a freight platform facing this way. There. Okay, apparently... Oh, okay, the freight platforms are also two tiles wide. Good to know. Well, it makes sense because the freight cars are the same length as the locomotives. Okay, um, before we put in the storage, let's make sure we can actually hook things up. So, 
let's extend these platforms a little bit like that then the tracks will need to come out I suppose until there should be okay so you should be able to hook into that one yes you can great and you can hook into that one that's going to be good enough I don't expect to have more than one train running on here for now so yeah it's fine and this should be fairly easy to hook up we just need to uh, do we want to have a straight section let me see if I try to do this okay let's try to do it from upstairs because I think that's going to be a little bit easier so you can you go all the way down from there to there no it's too long of course it is that's fine we can bring this one down a little bit longer i suppose so you come down this should be long enough uh too steep of course it is okay in that case there that shouldn't be too steep now it is still too steep well in that case what we will do how is to have a single uh, double ramp here and use those as connection points that will definitely fix it so two meter ramp going down uh, preferably two meter ones because we need the space for the straight sections so start in the middle of this one there and there start there and end there okay so you need to hook into that piece of track this should be doable now right 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 yes good and you will hook back into the main line well i suppose hmm let's build a small ramp coming down from let me see this is too long too far away so i think we can break this one into smaller pieces maybe we can start the back on ramp right here there and then we will have the same kind of you know first a three tiles long uh, switch this is placeholder we will have the ramp starting right here then you hook back into the main line delete this one and start a ramp down ramp two meter facing this way Hopefully this will be long enough. So start there. Go down. This will be placeholder. Let's have a nice gentle connection here. Delete this one. And will it work now? Uh, too sharp. Okay. Well, in that case, let's extend this one. Two times, I suppose. Let's have a small piece here. Will you connect up now? No, still too sharp. <sighs> okay, let's make this one a one tile long descent
How about now? There we go. Perfect. Okay, that takes care of that. Let's remove the unnecessary foundations. There. Uh, I think this looks relatively okay. It could be better, but I think it will do a, a, an admirable job at dealing with this slope. Yeah, I think so. Okay, we'll also remove this piece there and hook these together. Great. Let's see how it looks from far away. I guess. Yeah, I guess. Okay. So we had the signals up there. Now we need the signals right here. And this is good to go. I don't think I will include signals here because, as I have said, I only expect to have a single train running here for the foreseeable future. So, uh, bad signals going back into the main line there and sorry oh oh right this one is a little bit shorter well we should still be able to put the signal into this one no it really tries to sweet uh attach to this little break in the line that's fine and block signal going out no I said going out. Okay, any trains complaining? No, good. Okay, I suppose at this point we can start delivering the bauxite. Okay, unlike the rubber train, this is going to be hopefully a, a semi-permanent station. So instead of Milano, this will be the... Bauxite, yeah, drop off station, and it's too long. Um, ST, right. Now, the other side is not finished yet, so I will not change the name of that station. But we can add this station to the line, save changes. And I suppose, let's start delivering. Yeah. By the way, the train is yeah is going back to Ludwika. And then it will come back and drop things off. Great. And let's prepare for it by adding that uh, storage. So... Mm, Great, so. Oh, right, we actually need to power this up. Um, oh, wait, it's already powered because of the railroad. We can use this to power the rest of the machines there. So, did you drop? No. Oh, right, we need to set this one to unload. That's fine, you will take care of it the next go around. You know what? Let's take care of this guy. There we go. I think this is the first time that I killed one of these guys without any damage. Okay, so this should be okay at this point. These guys have power. Yes, you are. And the 
water should be coming up at this point. Yes, it is. Great. Does the water make it into the system? Uh, no water yet. But I think the pump should be able to take care of it. Right? Yeah, we need to fill up these pipes before we can start pumping it higher. There we go. And we have water in the refineries. We will use this first couple of minutes to actually fill these guys up. So the pumps only need to maintain the pressure inside the machines. Okay. So the train should be coming back. Oh wait, it is just made the way around the crater. So it is just getting to the pickup station. Now, this is all we need to make the Illumina solution. The Illumina solution will go into this machine. So what we need to do is have another set of junctions or a single junction. The bauxite should have arrived. So yeah, it is being unloaded. Exactly. So as soon as it's being dropped off, we should see some activity on these elevators. There we go. Perfect. It is The station is being unloaded at double speed, but only being unloaded at... Uh, sorry, this, this storage is being loaded at double speed and unloaded at... Uh, normal speed. So that is okay. And it goes in, yeah, both sides. So this is now active. Now this will give us 50 silica per second as well. We will need that silica, but for the time being, I will push that into a awesome sink because uh, it will take a bit of time until we can sort the whole place out. And I don't want this to stand still so the only real option we have is to feed it into the sink and don't forget to power it there okay so this will take care of the silica so there we go and so the basically in terms of water these guys require 180 each. That is going to be 360 uh, altogether, right? 360. We have 240 coming in from the pumps and we have 120 coming out of this one, which basically means that um, we are going to have the 360 water circulating in the system altogether. But if the, for example, if the silica backs up, there is a chance that the pumps will overfill the system. So if that happens, then I will consider building a pressure setup. But I think for now, I will see if we need, to, need, it, need it or not. But I don't think that we will. So anyways, we will need yeah, the silly, uh, aluminum solution is going into this one. So yeah, it is completely full now. Good. And we will feed the, um, where is it? There. I suppose we can feed the aluminum scrap into this one for now. So if you don't mind, I will push the output into this uh, sink as well at least for the time being. There we go. So this one, sorry, this one will require coal and 120 per minute. Thankfully, we have uh, a coal deposit or a set of coal deposits right where we are making the compacted coal, which is very close by. So we are going to use that. Uh, for now, I will actually use balance to bring it in but at some point we will use 
trains of course so we will need to expand the train station and all that kind of stuff uh let me see which deposit we can tap into um i think there should be a deposit yeah there it is okay so what we will do is make some portable miners apparently okay fine Okay, 30 should keep us going for a while. Okay, so Mark II Miner. This one will go this way, I suppose. And as I have said, for now, I will use Bells to move it back to the uh, Bauxite Refinery. But at some point, we will use trains. Uh, for now, you can hook into... Mm, doesn't matter. This one, I guess. There we go, finally. So, let's bring this belt all the way back. Okay, so the input needs to be... what's missing? Oh, right, in case beams. Okay, uh, we only really need Mark II bells, so I suppose this will be acceptable as well. Okay, then go this way and input goes... Uh, okay, this is temporary belt, so I don't mind a little bit of clipping. Excuse me. There we go. Okay, so this will take care of the coal. Great. Well, that means that we will have the aluminium scrap. Now, what do we need to melt these guys? That is going to be more silica. Well, I have been meaning to do something about the silicon outpost for a while. So let me see how many silica we need exactly. We need 200 silica altogether. Uh, some of that will actually come from the aluminium, uh, alumina solution setup, 100 altogether. So yeah, we only need to have 200 uh, silica per minute coming in from outside. Well, what is the silica requirement for the concrete? If I remember correctly, let me just quickly set, uh, check the uh, concrete recipe. So the concrete recipe, we are using the fine concrete and that requires 15 per minute. And if I remember correctly, we have 16 assemblers at the concrete factory well let's just go with that so or maybe it was only 12 okay i will go with 12 for now so 12 times 5 sorry times 15 that's 180 plus the uh, 200 for this place is going to be 380 so if we want to make sure that we are making enough silica, we need to make sure that we are making 380. So if you don't mind, I will actually go back to the silicon outpost and place down a semi-permanent uh, silica manufacturing setup. There we go. Okay. So... I think we will actually start by building the station itself. Because if you remember a while ago, I did say that I want to have the station actually uh, basically hanging from the main line. You will see what I mean in a second. 
so we will start first let's find the position that is yeah i think this will be okay let me see there hmm i think we can start the station here so two more tiles to the side and let's see how high the actual station is so we can copy the station ah it's fine transport train station well let's see it's higher than this higher than this let's see two more maybe train station a little bit further away yeah i think that is it okay let's place a hologram so we can judge where we need to place the actual platform okay just below the second to last okay so we will go ahead and do this sorry need to switch over to the zoop instead of the vertical there this is going to be the start of our train station the elevated train station to be exact and it is going to be pretty much central with the main line perfect just to be safe i will add one more on each side and yeah we are not going to clip into the arch going through so there and then two more for the freight station good then we will need three more tiles for the switch there okay so let's put in the station itself transport train station facing this way that's correct right there then the freight platform uh, I think I will face that way. Yeah. Good. Next, let's set up the switches on the main line. If you remember, I did say that I want the switch to start on this ramp. So we will go ahead and extend this ramp to the side. Like that on both sides. There that should be okay and we will start the switch right here which means that we will need to have it branch off or have a straight piece right here the same on the other side so there and end at the same point which is right here good so you will hook into the main line uh, okay it needs to be three tiles long at the switch i mean so okay we can do it from here instead there great okay so when we have these in i will get rid of these because i suspect it will be uh placeholders oh let me see uh maybe not i think this might be good yeah this will plenty good enough so you will go down all the way you the same no that not that way forward please there let's extend the main platform there and there technically we could put in a proper um, switch in front of the station but i think it's going to be okay if we don't as usual 
I don't expect to have too many trains here. Now you might be wondering, we need to take the Silica back that way as well. Well, I think we will actually have... Um, first, let me make sure that we are having the correct spacing. And maybe move this one back a little bit. So we have this station, which will go back to the main base. And I think we will have the same kind of station on the other side of this um, land bridge. At least that is my uh, current working idea. So let me see, let's bring these guys down. So from there, let's say, I don't know. Yeah, you know what? This far away. So yeah, it needs to terminate here. Excuse me. You can come straight up. So why are you trying to do something stupid? There you go. That's all I need. So, can you hook into this one? Yes, you can. Can you hook into that one? Yes, you can. There we go. Okay. Basically, this station is good to go at this point. Right. Let me... Well, I will keep the ramps around for a while. At least until I can take care of the blueprint for the sloped uh, anti-graph supports. Okay. Well, let me see. We will need to feed this station from the silica production. But for... Oh, sorry. There we go. But for now, we need to determine exactly what kind of production setup we will need. So how much was it? 380. Okay. How many silica comes out of these constructors? Uh, 37.5 so basically 11 constructors right the, this um, this divided by 37.5 yeah basically 11 okay let's go for 12 I suppose well Uh, let me see. Mm, how do we want to do this? First, let's bring this one down so we can have an idea where the platform will go. I think the platform can go here. Sorry, here I mean. So yeah, I think this is where the platform will go. Yeah. Great. We will put in support at some point, not right now. Well, I have been, again, naughty in between episodes and I did make some... Uh, what do I call it? Blueprints. So, let's put those in. As we have established, we will need, uh, yeah, let's go for 12 constructors. So, under blueprints, right here they are. So, let me put them into the uh, correct category. So, constructor goes in here. Constructor here and the smarters will of course go into the smarter category there uh, i like to have the counterclockwise at the end of the list there we go apply so we will need constructors and the uh, deposits are there behind that one 
and there. So I suppose if we want to place them here, we will need to have the clockwise version. Let's do that. So uh, clockwise constructor arrays. Uh, let me see. Yeah, there we go. So I think the inputs are... Hmm, it's hard to tell. I really should start... Hmm, okay, before we place them in, I want to check something. Let me place down a blueprint designer real quick. I think it should have a marker where the front of the design is. So, no, is it right in front of the console? So if I try to load, let me see, the old foundry array, we, are, we haven't touched this one yet. So clockwise version. Right. So yeah, the clock, the, the back of the assemblers are here. Okay, let's see where the arrow is on the blueprint. Blueprint, this one. Okay. So basically, it would be best if we actually started organizing the clockwise, anti-clockwise um, nomenclature based on the arrow on the actual blueprint. Okay, I will do the in between episodes as usual, but not right now. So clear blueprint, uh, pick up the resources, and you can go away. Thank you. So let me quickly put in 12 of these constructors. We have learned something, so that is a plus, I suppose. So, uh, clockwise version, but I think in this case it is actually this way, so the arrow is backwards. This is why I was a little bit confused. So anyways, it is actually a 4 tile long blueprint. Let's place down a hologram side by side, it's okay, and this way this is okay. Right, let me make sure. So the input is, yes, I believe this is the input. Okay. Let's place this one down two more times. Uh, this way, please. Good. All this will be responsible for making the silica. Yeah, don't worry about this track. Uh, we will remove it once we switch over to the new station. So the input, yes, it, they are on this side. Which means that we will need to feed the quartz in here. Okay, I will place down a temporary piece of belt and on the other side, it will come out the completed silica. Uh, what is going to be the throughput for silica? Oh, right, the output will be okay. So, wait, 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 how much was that? 308, okay, a, four, a Mark IV belt can't take care of it. For a second, I was a little bit worried. Okay, so on the other side will come out the finished silica there. Good. Um, we are technically over time, so I think I will quickly take care of these uh, blueprint connections and then we will say goodbye and continue with the aluminium production in the next episode. So let me quickly put these guys in. Let's take care of the power connections. Um, yeah, here, sorry, there, there, and in between these two. 
right. Okay, you know what? Before we go, let's get rid of the old Celica station. I think it's going to be okay if we cut Celica supply for the concrete factory for a little while. Um, wait, wait, wait. Where is the drop box? We did just delete the station, which should be full of silica at this point. And dismantle crate. Is it under the foundations? Or is it in the air? No? It must be under the foundations. Yeah, there you are. Okay, so all this silica needs to go away there and we need to pick up the actual useful stuff uh, this as well good and let's tell the silica train to start using this station can i make it no let's try again and there we go okay instead of brother it this is going to be the new Silica pickup station. Okay, and can the silica train one start using this one? Uh, edit timetable, pickup station, save changes, and that's it. Good. Next station pickup. Great. And this should already be set to load. Yes, great. Now, I will not hook up the uh, old silica manufacturing setup. In fact, at this point, we can completely de demolish it. Yeah, we have enough room in our inventory. I will get rid of all this. And destroy the unnecessary silica. Also, interesting textures. Oh, this needs to go there. Okay, the quartz can go as well. And the raw silica. Good. So, last time we had a Mark 1 miner here, I believe. This time around, it will be Mark II, of course. And we will have Mark II miners on every single one of these deposits. There. Uh, let's do the same for the uh, Crystalline Quartz. We will do the same kind of manufacturing setup for these as well, don't worry. So all this needs to go away. I suppose I will keep... Hmm, let me see. Let's get rid of the raw quartz. Pick this up and I will delete... Let me see. Sort. I will keep two stacks on us. We don't need too much. Right now I think we are only using these for displays and the, such, and, and the like. You know, this one can go away as well. Right. Okay, let's keep putting in the miners. And there is one more deposit, I believe, right here, right? Yes, good. Let me just clear the way. Good. Okay. You will come down this way. And yeah, I should stop playing right now because we are over time, as I have said.
just like this okay and yeah let's just say goodbye don't go too over time let me quickly take care of this and okay so as you might expect in the next episode we will take care of the silica production and put them on a train and ferry them over to the new outpost okay so all that is left to say is that thank you for watching if you like the video you can leave a like leave a comment and maybe subscribe to the channel if you want if you would like to support me a little bit more you can do so by clicking the join button and becoming a channel member which will give you an early and ad free access to these videos once again thank you for watching and thank you very much for your support i will see you in the next one thank you and goodbye